Hello everyone. So today I want to talk about uh, REST API and I have uh, talked about it, done a lot of videos, hundreds of videos, I, I'm sure hundreds of videos on uh, REST API. But uh, people keep on asking uh, the same question or similar questions over and over and over again. Now, in this video, I just want to talk about how you can uh, get started with the uh, REST API. It could be um, for Jira, it could be for Confluence or any other, uh, I mean, to be honest, any any application, any product, any service where you have REST API. So I think the concept is, it, is similar. But of course, I'll focus a bit more on the Jira side because this channel is all about Jira. Now, we all know that, uh, I mean, first of all, Jira has REST API. This is something that uh, that you all should be aware of if you are new to Atlas and Word. Jira along with Confluence along with uh, uh, other Atlassian products, they will always have, I mean, they, there will always be REST API for you to use. And good thing about REST API is that you can then uh, uh, do wonderful things with these tools from outside Jira or from, from outside these, these tools. For example, REST API can be used for uh, talking, to, talking to these tools, to push something to, to these tools. Maybe you want to let us say create a page in conference, maybe you want to uh, read your Jira issues, or maybe you want to, to pull those issues and dump it somewhere else for reporting. So REST API is basically uh, a, a very standard way of doing things in the industry. Now, Atlassian tools, let us say Jira conference, you have REST API, so don't, don't worry about it. Number two, people ask me a lot about this. How do we get started? Now, when it comes to using Atlassian tools, let us say Jira, you can actually get started immediately. All you need is uh, access to a Jira environment or a Jira instance. It could be server, it could be cloud, I should say data center. So if you're on cloud, I mean, what I recommend is that just sign up for a free Jira cloud instance and uh, then start playing with the REST API. Now, to interact with Jira using REST API, you can actually do it straight away from your browser. So Jira, uh, to be honest, any REST API, it has like one uh, one one path to a resource that you consume. For example, if you're talking about, let us say you want the list of issues of a particular project, or maybe you want the list of projects, or maybe you want to create a new issue, or maybe you want to create a new page, or maybe you want to add a label to a page, or maybe you want to transition a work, transition an issue. So you, you can do a lot of wonderful things uh, using REST API, and there is usually this uh, URL. Now, if you have a browser already, which I guess you you should have, I guess you are already doing something on a browser, right? Maybe you're watching this video on a browser, but uh, you don't really need uh, like a lot of setup to get started with, with REST API. So go to your browser, uh, type in the Jira URL followed by the REST API, REST API is uh, endpoint. Uh, and from the browser, you can always, uh, you know, read things very easily. Maybe you want the list of issues, or list of projects or list of fields depending upon your permission. So whatever permissions you have in your Jira instance or conference instance, you will be able to do the same thing using uh, your REST API. So try to retrieve things from the browser. Now, when you are familiar with this much so far, so basically you're able to do things from the browser, you know that, okay, you can access one environment, maybe your own environment. Now try to either update things or uh, create things in these tools. Now, you, you, you don't really need to use uh, like a client software, you can always use, I mean, your, your browser is also a client, but you can do it, the, the point is that you're, you can, you don't really need, need to download any specific software, although you should, uh, or it will basically help you when you, uh, when you, when you want to do more things. Uh, you, you can immediately start using uh, browser extensions like Talent API Tester or Postman. And in these uh, browser extensions, you have to, of course, uh, uh, authenticate. Now for authentication, I have made uh, uh, endless videos. And to be honest, uh, people keep asking me and, and even complain about, uh, okay, you have, you have made a video on REST API, but you have not really shown how to authenticate. So uh, I think you should also do some work. I mean, uh, do some search online or search my videos, go to my website, revisaga.in learn how we can authenticate. So you basically you need a token which you can generate from your profile and to use that token in your uh, uh, in your REST call, 
you have to uh, i mean usually these tools will help you uh, with the setup initial setup and uh, browser extensions will help you get started straight away immediately but if you're trying to do something with the rest api i guess most likely you are trying to use uh, a programming language right so maybe you have a connector which will probably connect jira with another tool and jira also has uh, rest api or i mean of course rest api but also has, uh, it, it also has webhooks so basically you can uh, do things you can actually uh, trigger something outside uh, jira using uh, these uh, webhooks and those webhooks will then of course uh, let those other tools know that okay something has happened in jira and let me maybe read the new status or maybe add a comment or do whatever you want to do so uh, to to get started with jira rest api the best thing that you can do is uh, sign up for jira cloud instance and then uh, try to retrieve things using uh, the browser so when you retrieve things using a browser you will get a json back and that json is uh, something that you need to maybe format so usually you will be able to format these things using uh, some other browser extensions like uh, json pretty printer whatever i mean just search for json something and you will find it because re reading json without these uh, extensions is a bit difficult uh, if you can do these things if you have done these things so far then of course uh, try to use an use an extension and then uh, maybe try to find uh, some example code snippets for doing the same things using code in different languages now the best thing that you should i think the best thing about these rest api is that there is there is always a documentation with some guide or some snippets uh, where you can basically learn which endpoint to call what will be the json response back the error messages and if you have to pass something let us say if you if you have to create an issue if you go to the atlassian let us jira cloud rest api website or this this document you will find reference and you will find like a like an example of the json body that you have to pass now what i recommend and this is what i have shown in my videos keep your own repository of these endpoint different calls for example if you are using postman or uh, talent A A api uh, uh, talent api tester you will be able to save this different endpoints and uh, along with the body uh, I, i do that uh, but i also have my own uh, uh, curl scripts for doing these different things let us say if, if i have to audit a jira cloud instance or a jira data center instance i just use rest api depending upon uh, the availability of uh, let us say scriptner if 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 i have scriptner on data center i i i run other scripts that use or utilizes uh, java apis but rest api based approach will give you a lot of information and uh, curl scripts work all the time because i use linux even if you are not using linux i'm sure uh, curl scripts can be executed using uh, other oss but if you are on mac why not uh, if you are on windows you can do something similar to be honest but uh, but if you go to the atlassian or jira rest api documentation you will also find these code snippets for different programming languages now of course forge is there and you will also find uh, forge snippets so this is i think wonderful and uh, uh, and and there are i mean of course you can't really do each and everything using rest api but you can still do a lot i mean uh, um, for 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 majority of people i think it is more than enough rest api can be a bit annoying because for doing a simple thing you have to probably make multiple rest calls uh, but that is how you should keep your own repository like keep keep a rep repository of different things that you need to do for example i in my script keep uh, different endpoints like this script is for this endpoint this script is for that endpoint and then when you have these different things you can then connect them together and uh, whether you're doing it in groovy or uh, python or forge or curl or sh or maybe a shell script which is basically using curl uh doing simple things is actually uh important part so learn how to do simple things if you're able to do simple things then uh you will learn a lot about the capabilities of rest api and then it will enable you uh to do other wonderful big automation so it will help you achieve uh, those business requirements so yeah yeah that is all i wanted to talk about uh, rest api and of course i have like 
multiple courses hundreds of videos on rest api so just go to my website ravisagar.in i mean I, i know it is a bit difficult to search for these things on uh, on uh, youtube but i do have uh, my website where i try to organize thing my 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 videos my content uh it is of course not perfect but i'm improving it and uh, do reserve a ticket for me a support ticket for me in case you need uh, uh any help i mean of course feel free to add a comment but if you raise a ticket for me then uh, most likely i will be able to reply to you hopefully soon i do have uh, a membership program where it's not really like a paid support it's more about if you want to support my channel you can you know just join my membership and uh, one good benefit one one benefit that you will get is that uh, if you raise a ticket for me i you will get priority response uh, from from me uh, of course it is not really a paid support i'm not really going to solve all of your problems but i i will definitely be able to point you to the right direction or i'll give you some pointers or if i if i have some solution already with me i'll give it to you or i'll make a video on that particular topic all right that is all that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and by the way by the way happy happy diwali i wish you happy diwali uh be safe have fun and uh and uh, hopefully hopefully i'll see you i have started doing uh, i mean i've i've started going out of course this year and uh, next month i'll be So when I was in India in in the month of August, I I I basically went to the eighth Guru Guru Gram. I'm still trying to pronounce this name because I'm used to say Guru Guru Gram, but uh, Guru Gram, Guru Gram, yes, eighth Guru Gram and NCR basically meet up, and uh, I met a lot of people there. And while I was in while I was in India, I also met uh, you know people uh, face to face, but. next month remember i'm doing uh, i'm basically talking about uh, jira automations uh in one of the ace event in maidenhead which is not too far from london so if you are in london area do come i would love to meet you and uh, and yeah i i have started you know going out and hopefully hopefully uh i'll do more events or i'll basically participate in more events and whenever i'm going out let us say to us to a specific event i'll 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 let you know so if you're watching this video and if you are in the same region uh where i'm going let me know let us meet all right that is all bye bye